Hey folks, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. I am working on a chicken waterer here. So what I had before was a five gallon bucket with five nipples on it. I'll show you the nipples here in a minute. And I had them attached to a five gallon bucket and this is a food grade bucket. And it's screwed, they are screwed in here. And I had an issue in that my handle broke off here. So I've been using this bucket for, I think two years now. I guess they just give out after a period of time. So the only other food grade that I have right now, say hello to Murphy. Uh, the only other bucket that I have that's food grade is a four gallon bucket, which may actually help out to not have as much weight on it here. So what I'm gonna do is take this other bucket right here and I'm going to drill five holes in and I'm going to use a, let's see, that is the 5 16 drill bit. And then I'm going to go in with a 3 8 tap set here. And we're going to go ahead and tap the screws or thread it with the tap here. And then we will just go ahead and thread the nipples right on. So what this is, is basically there's a little plunger here that gets pushed down so it stops the water from coming out and when the chicken goes after this you can see the plunger comes up and it drops water out and they learn very quickly because it's red they go after red they learn very quickly to go after this and that water comes out and it prevents water from going all over it prevents it from getting all skunked up and it, it just all around helps i'll show you show you what it looks like here after i get this put together so i don't have my tripod here so i'm just going to go ahead and set this up and do it and what I'm going to try to do is do what I didn't do here this is on letters and because it's on letters and it's raised up I was getting a little bit of leaking here so I do have a couple letters here I'm going to go ahead and try to avoid so they're not going to be evenly all the way around because I'm going to try to miss the obstacles here one other thing to note is when you are doing the drill and when you're doing the tap, you want to hold it straight and go down. You don't want to be rounding it out because it has to be perfect and tight so that you don't get leakage out. And there is a little, you can see it, kind of a clear plastic uh, gasket there or O-ring and that helps uh, for the most part, but it's still, you want a nice tight fit with the threads to hold it in and prevent the prevent it from leaking. So let me go ahead and drill this and get it put together and show you what uh, a couple other things that I recommend for hanging it uh, just to keep it steady. Because of the smaller size bucket and the lettering on here, I only ended up putting four nipples on. I had five on the other, but the four will be just fine. One other thing is I only hand tighten these things and I, I crank them down, but just with my hands, I don't want to use tools because plastic on plastic, it is very, very easy to strip this out. The other thing I want to worry about, or I have to worry about, is the handle here and uh, I'm gonna connect this to a chain and uh, because of that what I want to do is bend it and have a high point in the metal here so that it doesn't slide because if I'm on a chain and it just slides off to one side it shifts the water it can splash I, even though there is a, a lid on top of this it's just loosely, loosely placed on and scare the heck out of the chicken so i want it locked in place so i don't have any shifting around so what i will do is bend the metal to move the plastic off and then i will go ahead and just put a notch in the top part here for the chain to sit on and you'll see that once i put it together so the first step is to side, slide the plastic off to the side and I bent the metal just a little bit so I could do this one handed. And you just slide it over and you can see it's bent a little bit here off center. So I'll go ahead and bend it back in place and then I'll put the notch in the center here. And I use a great big old pair of pliers here, uh, line pliers as I call them. And I put the notch in here. Doesn't have to be perfect, again, it's chicken water. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this chain on. I'll give it a quick rinse, put some water in it, and double check, make sure that we don't have any leaks going on. Okay, we have water in here. And 
if I touch it, you can see the water comes out readily. I've gone ahead and I've tried all four of them all the way around. Didn't have any leakage first time around, which is unusual. Usually I get some one of them that's leaking on me. So the last thing I need is a lid here. So this lid does not belong to this bucket, but it will fit and hold because the pressure of the metal will just hold it in place. And I just don't want any birds or any crap or anything else going in there when they're flying and fluttering and doing their stuff. So that sits here. What I have is just a clip here. So when I need to remove this, boy, it's not showing very good. There, uh, this clip right here, I can remove it. And I have a chain going in the back and that's just to keep it from swinging around too much and the weight is actually held up here i have it anchored right into a two by four right in the center there so it is held on nice and tight and it keeps it from swinging and the girls love this so i will go ahead and clean up the mess here because the other one spilled put water everywhere and water plus chicken poop makes a stinky mess with flies and everything so i'll get all the wetness out and hopefully the flies will go away and life will get back to normal here so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in and have a great day